Hey, rock and rollers, I'm back with a little more information on the XR18 from Behringer that I bought up at uh, Sweetwater from Zach. And uh, I've been working now with the USB stuff. I told you earlier in one of my videos, the uh, USB drivers weren't available, but uh, Behringer uh, did send me a Facebook message and they did put them up today. It is on their website. Just go to Behringer.com uh, and go to Downloads and you'll find it there and download it and it does work. So I've got my USB cable hooked up to my laptop and I've set up now with the software here. Uh, this is Reaper that I'm using and I'm not real big on DAW stuff so I'm learning to but uh, I'm going to show you right here on the screen uh, how to get the recording made and how to uh, listen to it back because I had a problem trying to get it played back. Now there's a video on YouTube by Drew Brassler B-R-A-S-L-E-R, -E and he explains how to set up the, uh, the software, and you can go to his site and look at it because it's extensive, and that's where I found out how to do it. So, okay, so here we go. Take a look at this. Now. Okay, here's the program Reaper. This is uh, version 4.77, and this uh, I can use this for uh, 60 days before I have to uh, pay for it, and I understand it's not real expensive, about maybe $60. Uh, I'm not real, real familiar uh, with these type of programs, but uh, I want to be able to record off of the uh, XR18 and go back and remix everything, so I finally got it figured out after a short while. Let me record something and show you that it does record. Uh, we can hit uh, Control r here on this software, and I'll start talking. Okay, I'm uh, recording now. You might see the little light here coming up right here on it. And I've actually got all uh, 16 or 18 channels set up, but uh, I'm just recording on the one channel for right now. Okay, I'll stop that, and that'll be uh, that much recorded. And I want to save it, so I'll just do a save all. And then I'm going to back it up. And now if I try to play it back, you won't hear it. So uh, to get to hear it, here's what you got to do. Let me stop this and back it up. Okay. You got to go here to uh, the software and uh, you want to go up here and select this up and down arrow right here. Hope you can see that. And then you'll see the USB I.O. Now before I hit that, I'm going to turn this volume down because this gets pretty loud. So then I click on the uh, this and hit the USB in out I.O. And I've already set up the channels the way they're supposed to be, but now I can play it back. Uh, as you can see, it's not playing back. Let me do this. Go to the folder and go to USB plug-in right there. Now we got it. Okay, I'm uh, recording now. You might see the little light here coming up right here on it. And I've actually... So you, now you see I'm recording. I'll back it up to show you that it is uh, being taped. I'll start all over again. Here we go. Okay, I'm uh, recording now. You might see the little light here. Okay, now to uh, get out of this, because right now you can't uh, you can't record again, and you want to go from the send and click on it and go to the return, and then click on the folder and turn it off. And once you do that, then you can go back to your uh, your program and turn the volume back up, and now you're back on and you can record again. Well, I hope this has helped you some, and uh, maybe it'll help us all get uh, this thing up and running good. So far, I've been really pleased with it, and uh, uh, Zach called me this morning from uh, Sweetwater to see how we were doing, and I told him I was real thrilled with it. I'm going to work now on the uh, MIDI information and see what I can find out and see what to do on MIDI. So, thanks for watching, and I'll try to have some more up later. Thank you.